Hi everyone, so Demon Slayer Season 3 is coming out soon and I thought I'd show you how to draw one of its main characters, Mitsuri Kanroji, the love Hashira. I think she's such a fun and cute character to draw, plus I really like the Demon Slayer art style, so I thought I'd give it a try. So let's get started. I'm starting off by drawing her face, sketching in a circle as the base, and this will be the top portion of her head. Then I'm going in and adding a line to show the middle of her face, then drawing in her cheeks and jawline. I am having her face slightly towards the left, so I'm angling everything in that direction. Now let's clean things up a bit. Now moving on to her hair, starting with the top portion. Her hair has some volume on the top, so I'm sketching that a little bit above where the circle is and she has her hair parted in the middle so i'm leaving a bit of an indent in that area for her bangs i'm keeping things loose and sort of messy i think her hair is styled that way to give her a childish and ditzy kind of feel so don't worry about making it perfect the strands are also rectangular instead of being pointy and edgy like you normally see in anime hair. Now I'm adding lines going in the direction of the bangs and this will give texture and make them look more like hair and not like a flat piece of paper or something. And I'm adding some more strands to her bangs. I'm going to add two thin pieces on both sides of this middle section. And then on the sides, she has some wider strands that sort of frame her face. Um, don't make them too long. They only come down towards her cheeks. And same thing I did for the midsection. Add some lines for texture. And I'm drawing in her hairline using some jagged lines. And going in with some more lines at the top. Now let's move on to the bottom portion of her hair. And does Mitsuri have some crazy braids or what? So she has some very thick braids, which is what I'm sketching here. And they're drawn with these interlocking segments. And I actually noticed that her braids sort of look like stacks of hearts. I don't know, maybe I'm seeing things, but that would make sense considering she's the love Hashira. Drawing hair, especially one styled like hers, can be a bit intimidating. So to help, you can start off by sketching a simple version of it first, like I'm doing here, and cleaning it up and adding some details as you go. For the other braid, I decided to sketch the entire shape first, just so I could see how big I wanted it. And honestly, I should have done this with the other one too, but I got a little bit lazy. So yeah, make sure to sketch things out. And these braids are looking a little bit empty, so just add those texture lines that we did on the bangs. And just like that, they're looking a little bit more like hair. Her braids end with these small bundles of hair. Um, they almost look like tassels or something. And she doesn't seem to have anything tying them together, so just draw the hair and you should be good. Now I'm moving on to her body, starting with the neck, then sketching in the outline of her outfit. Now Misuri is wearing here a white button-up shirt under her uniform, or in her case, a button-down shirt, because um, 
I guess they got her shirt a few sizes too small or something. And here I am drawing the collar of her shirt. Button. And this is the uniform that all of the demon slayers wear. And let's add some more buttons. And we'll finish off with details on the collar and pocket. Mitsuri wears a white belt along her waist, so I'm sketching that in. And in the middle, I'm adding the buckle of the belt. This is also where she sticks her sword in, that very bendy love Hashira sword. So yeah, it is also practical as well as fashionable. Here I'm adding the final piece of her outfit, which is this white cloak that she wears above her uniform. Now I'm only drawing her upper portion for this illustration, so I didn't include the rest of her outfit. But if you wanted to draw the rest, she does wear a skirt and long socks, along with some sandals. So just keep that in mind if you want to draw her entire body. As I've said before, Misuri got her shirt a bit too small. Either that or they shrink in the washer. Whatever the case is, I'm drawing the curves of her knockers here. Let's just hope that the remaining buttons stay closed during battle. Almost done with the body just have to add her hands and sleeves. I'm not going into much detail on this part. I just chose a wave for her right hand and a closed fist for her left. And I'm just going to layer the sleeves of her outfit to create the arm. All right, we've come to the final part, the face. I like to sketch a line for where the eyes will go before I actually place them there just helps to make sure both eyes are aligned and in the right spot. Her eyes are very curved and large, so I'm drawing two large arcs for the upper part of the eyes. And for the bottom parts, I'm keeping them straight, and that gives this smiley eye kind of appearance. Then add two large circles for the irises, and two small circles for the eye shine. Now her pupils aren't perfect circles, they are actually quite hazy and blurred out. So I'm using lines to create a cross hatching effect for them. For her nose, we'll add two lines, one for the nose itself and the other slightly smaller one for the nostril. And we'll top it off with the signature Demon Slayer cross hatching. I decided to give her a big grin since she is the love Hashira and full of love. So I'm outlining the entire mouth, then adding in the details, which are basically her teeth. Finally, finish off with the two moles. Are they moles? I think so. And here's the finished drawing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Here's to more Mitsuri in the upcoming season of Demon Slayer. Let me know in the comments if there's another character that you would like to see me draw. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more art tutorials. Bye!